Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on Windows Phone 8 for students at King Faisal University and for others who want to learn mobile app development. This is part 13 in this series entitled Classes and Objects for Windows Phone 8 App Development using C Sharp. Class and struct are used to structure data. Some of their differences are that constructor cannot be customized in struct, class is instantiated using new keyword, struct takes less memory, and it is claimed that though struct can be optimized, it may degrade system performance. Here is a comparison of how to implement a class and a struct. This tutorial will focus on the use of class, that's why in our app, we will create a student class that has two string variables and a constructor that takes the two variables as arguments. It will also have a method that returns the combined values of the two variables, and both variables should have a get and set. In the main page, we will place a text block, a text box, and two buttons. We will instantiate the student class with values ID and network, and we will display the values in the text block. At the end, we will allow the user to change either the name or course by entering the value in the text box and clicking any of the respective buttons. Let's create our new project, file new project. This is app13 underscore one. We will put our class in a separate folder, so let's right click our project name in the explorer and then add new folder. Let's call it classes. Inside this folder, we will put our class. So right click it, add a class. Let's name it student, add. In our class, we'll declare our two variables as private. The first one is a string called name, and the other is also string called course. Our uh, class will have a constructor with uh, the two variables as argument arguments. So this is public student string. Let's call it n, and also string. Let's call it c. So our variable name will be equal to n. And our variable course will be equal to C. Then we're going to create also a method that will display the details and will return a string. Let's call it display details. So it will return. Let's put some labels also name colon plus our variable name plus let's put the course in a new line so let's start with the backslash n then course plus our course okay Next is we're going to create an automatic get and set for our variables. To do that, we will right-click the variable, refactor, encapsulate field, external click OK, apply. Now you can see that our variable now has this get and set called name. We will do the same for course. Right-click, refactor, encapsulate field, OK apply. So now both our uh, private variables have their own get and set. Now let's go back to our main page, SAML, and we're going to put here a text block, a text box, and two buttons, one, two. So this text uh, box can be in the center. One button to change the name and another button to change the course. So this text box, we're going to name it TBX1 and we will delete the text. This is a button one, this is to change the name. We'll put here change name and the second button, we'll name it button two and this is to change the course. 
So both uh, values will be placed in the text block. So we'll name it TBK1 Units layout. Let's make it to its uh, alignment stretched and its height. Let's make it a 200. We're now ready to write our code, so double click our button. First is that we're going to instantiate our class. Oh, no. First, we have to make sure that uh, we are using that class, so we have to put using and then our app 39 that folder classes semicolon so we can use our class now we have to instantiate our class student let's name it c or s is equal to new student and the values ali and network close it then these values must be placed in our first text block so text block one dot text is equal to s dot we have to use the meta display details semicolon so going back to our first button if we want to change the value of our name we have to use uh, this name from our uh, set is equal to tbx1 dot whatever he put in the text box and we will display again uh, the new contents in our text block one dot text so we will use again the same method display details we will do the same for the second so let's go back to our main page double click the second button and this time it will be for the course so s dot course there that's it let's try to run it okay so let's try to change our name let's make it Ahmed change name there it's now changed let's try to change our course to IT change course it's now there well congratulations we just finished creating a class and its instance and object in windows phone 8 using c sharp thank you for taking the time to watch this video mas salama